Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to show you a couple of free applications that I've downloaded. Um, all these applications are free, of course, and um, they're really useful. I found them really useful, and um, most of them are really cool. And um, uh, right now you probably see this thing in the middle of my screen, screen float, um, uh, whatever it is, screen flick, whatever. It's just a trial version. I haven't um, bought the license. But uh, anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of applications. The first one we're going to look at is um, UnRARX. Now, this is an application that will allow you to unzip um, any .rar files. Um, there's a lot of files I download that um, are RAR files. And um, for Windows, you would use WinRAR, but um, this is very easy to use. All you do is just drag the file in here and it will automatically extract them all into whatever program you want. Um, I downloaded a music file not too long ago. It was a raw file. I just dragged it, dragged it in here. It unzipped it and put it in my iTunes library. And um, That's the first one. Alright, the second one we're going to look at is Kismac right here. Alright, um, this is an application that will allow you to, it's, it's, it's almost like Backtrack 3, if you know what that is. It will allow you to, um, crack web keys for wireless signals, um, at the click of a button. I mean, it's really easy to use, um. You can look at another video on how to use it because I'm not going to go into detail. But, um, that's. You just. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's really useful if you're around a connection that is secured and you can't get in. You just pull up this and crack the web key and, um, you're in. So that's the second one I wanted to show you. Uh -oh. Next one we're gonna look at is where is it? Uh, right here, Vues, or Views, whatever. Um, this is, whoops, I don't know what that is. Sorry. Um, this is a torrent downloader slash anything you want. Webs, um application is mainly for videos movies and stuff but uh, you can download um, free feature links movies um, or trailers or anything of that sort and um, it usually gives you the torrent location where you can download a torrent or you can download them straight off here there are not many feature link films off here but there um, are a bunch of torrent sites that it'll take you to so you can download the torrent for the movie. Alright, um, the next thing we're going to look at is, hold on, let me get out of here. Uh, it's called iSerial Reader. Um, iSerial Reader is, whoops, hold on, crap. Here we go. Alright, iSerial Reader is a database that holds the license numbers for um, hundreds of software applications for the Mac um, oh, let me open it if I can't remember all the sites that I downloaded these applications for I would put them in the description but um, you can look up other videos on these and it will give you the uh, site but basically this is ICO Reader and um, is it like I said it's a database of serial numbers and um, what you do is you come up here and type in any application let's say um, I don't know Photoshop alright come over here in the serial box click on W Photoshop alright right here you get the summary place that you can download a trial version and once you download the trial version, just click on serials, click on the serial number, and it's automatically copied to your clipboard. And you can just paste that right into 
the um, license number place. And um, the last thing I want to show you is called transmission. It is well, <clears throat> I don't, I can't use it because I don't have the newest, the new, a newer version of Mac of the um, Mac operating system. So I can't really show it to you, but I do know what it's about. And it's a touring opener. It's very easy to use. It's almost the drag and drop kind of thing, but um, that's you know, it's um, like I said, you can look up other videos and where to download these things. But um, those are a few of my favorite applications. And uh, please subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.